solutions of a system of linear equations before we saw the two methods which were gauss elimination method and gauss jordan method these two methods were direct methods now we'll see the iterative methods which are gauss jacobi method and gauss seidel method in this video we'll focus on the gauss jacobi method firstly we'll see the working rule and then we'll see the examples let's just consider the system of equations the gauss jacobi method is applicable to the system of equations only when the leading diagonal elements of the coefficient matrix are large in magnitude in their respective rows so these are the system of equations a11 x plus a12 y plus a13 z is equal to b1 a21 x plus a22 y plus a23 z is equal to b2 and a31 x plus a32 y plus a33 z is equal to b3 now here you can see a11 a22 and a33 these are the diagonal elements in the first row a11 must be greater than a12 and a13 in the second row a22 must be greater than a21 and a23 and in the third row a33 must be greater than a31 and a32 if this is the case then only we can apply the gauss jacobi method to the system of equations once these conditions are satisfied we will rewrite the equations in the form of x y and z the first equation will have to rewrite in the form of x so it will be a11 x is equal to b1 minus a12 y minus a13 z therefore x will be equal to b1 minus a12 y minus a13 z divided by a11 then y will be equal to b2 minus a21 x minus a23 z divided by a22 and the third equation will have to rewrite in the form of z so it will be z is equal to b3 minus a31 x minus a32 y divided by a33 once this is done we'll start with our first iteration in which we'll make an assumption that x y and z are equal to x0 y0 and z0 respectively this is our first initial approximation that we are assuming the values of x y and z as x0 y0 and z0 from this approximation we'll find the values of x1 y1 and z1 by placing the values of x0 y0 and z0 in the above three equations which we wrote in the form of x y and z we'll just continue this process until we get two approximations successive approximations which must be nearly equal this will be clear to you while we'll solve the example the question is solve the following equations 6x plus 2y minus z is equal to 4 x plus 5y plus z is equal to 3 2x plus y plus 4z is equal to 27 our first step is to check the diagonal elements which must be greater than the elements in their respective rows so here the diagonal elements are 6 5 and 4 if we check for the first equation then 6 is greater than the coefficients of the other two which is 2 plus 1 then for the second equation 5 is greater than the coefficients of x and z which is 1 plus 1 and for the third row we have 4 which is greater than 2 plus 1 our next step is to rewrite the equations in the form of x y and z the first equation will be 6x is equal to 4 minus 2y plus z 
which will write in the form of x so it will become 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2y plus z then for the second equation we have 5y is equal to 3 minus z minus x and y will be equal to 1 by 5 3 minus x minus z the third equation will be z 4z is equal to 27 minus 2x minus y and z will be equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2x minus y then we'll start with our first iteration in the first iteration we'll take an assumption that x0 y0 and z0 values are 0 we'll write the iteration 1 as assuming x0 equal to 0 y0 equal to 0 and z0 equal to 0 which will be our initial approximation then by placing the values of x0 y0 and z0 in the above equations we'll find the values of x1 y1 and z1 first of all our x1 will be equal to here we have found the equation in the form of x which is 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2y plus z we'll just place the initial approximation values in this equation which will be 4 minus 2 into 0 plus 0 then for the second one which is y1 is equal to 1 by 5 3 minus x minus z so it will be 3 minus 0 minus 0 then z1 will be equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2x minus y which is 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2 into 0 minus 0 we get our x1 as 2 by 3 which is 0.67 then y1 as 3 by 5 which is 0.6 and z1 we get it as 27 by 4 which is equal to 6.75 our next step is to use the values of this x1 y1 and z1 and from these values we'll find x2 y2 and z2 the equation will be same which is x2 is equal to 1 by 6 4 minus 2 y plus z we'll just place the values of x1 y1 and z1 so it will be 1 by 6 4 minus 2 into 0 0.6 plus 6.75 which comes out to be 1.59 then y2 will be equal to 1 by 5 into 3 minus x minus z which is 1 by 5 into 3 minus 0 0.67 minus 6.75 as the values of x1 and z1 are 0 0.67 and 6.75 so we get y2 as minus 0 0.884 then z2 will be equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2x minus y which is 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2 into 0 0.67 minus 0 0.6 z2 will be equal to 6.265 then we'll go with our iteration 3 in the iteration 3 this was the iteration 2 now in iteration 3 we'll put the values of x2 y2 and z2 and we'll find the values of x3 y3 and z3 here if you observe x1 and x2 then both of these values are not at all nearly equal y1 and y2 are also not nearly equal and z1 and z2 are also not nearly equal so we have to go for our iteration 3 now here in x3 it will be 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2 into minus 0 0.884 plus 6.265 which will be equal to 2.005 
then y3 will be equal to 1 by 5 into 3 minus x minus z which is 1 by 5 into 3 minus 1.59 minus 6.265 because our x2 is 1.59 and z2 is 6.265 we get y3 equal to minus 0.971 then z3 is equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2x minus y which is 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2 into 1.59 minus minus 0.884 we get z3 equal to 6.176 again if you will observe x2 x3 y2 y3 and z2 z3 all of these values are not at all nearly equal We'll have to go for our next iteration, which will be iteration 4. Here, we'll put the values of x3, y3 and z3. And from this, we'll find the values of x4, y4 and z4. x4 will be equal to 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2y plus z which is 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2 into minus 0 0.971 plus 6.176 which are the values of y3 and z3 so we got our x4 as 2.01 then y4 is equal to 1 by 5 into 3 minus 2.005 minus 6.176 which is equal to minus 1.03 and then we have z4 which will be equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2 into 2.005 minus minus 0 0.971 as y3 is minus 0 0.971 we will get our z4 equal to 5.99 here if you will observe x3 and x4 we have got it nearly equal but still we need exact values for y4 and z4 so again we'll have to perform the next iteration which will be iteration 5 here we'll put the values of x4, y4 and z4 and we'll find the values of x5, y5 and z5 x5 will be equal to 1 by 6 into 4 minus 2 into minus 1.03 plus 5.99 which will be equal to 2 then y5 will be equal to 1 by 5 into 3 minus 2.01 minus 5.99 which will be equal to minus 1 and our z5 will be equal to 1 by 4 into 27 minus 2 into 2.01 minus in bracket minus 1.03 z5 comes out to be 6 now if you observe the values of x4 x5 it is nearly equal to 2 then y4 and y5 it's equal to minus 1 and z4 and z5 z4 is 5.99 which means 6 and z5 is 6 from this we can say that since our iteration 4 and 5 are having nearly equal values we have got our approximate solution for the given system of equations and the approximate solution is x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 6.
you just need to write it like this since the fourth and fifth iteration values are nearly equal approximate solution is x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 6 this way we have to solve the examples based on the gauss jacobi method you'll find the snapshot of this example on my website the link to which is in the description thank you